I've been playing guitar my entire life and I've had a long career with it. Um, recently discovered projection mapping onto the guitar which led me to open a world of, of visualization of everything um, through music that I could ever want. Uh, you know, for, vi for me, visuals are very, very new. There's something I haven't really worked with before. Um, but having someone like Georgia translate what I do into something that can be seen is r really, really amazing. And the way that she does it is, is really incredible. I call myself an information designer, but at the same time, uh, I can also say that I use data as the material for my art yes. creation. Uh, there is a fine line between what we can define art and design, and normally this goes along the idea of purpose and functionality. So beauty is very important, and so the idea of making something and creating something that can spark emotions just because it's beautiful, it's really important. But for the way I work, because there are always data behind the work that I do, I think it's also very important for people to understand this data. And so I believe that I would say, yes, it's important for the work to spark emotion, but to me at the same time, it's really important that it has a structural meaning behind. John Maeda thought it would be fun to put us both in a bag together and shake it up and see what rolled out. And that's how we met. Yeah. What we did uh, is we started our collaboration with the, a day of data collection about what we did with our hands and we merged this data. So after Kaki gave me her data, I merged this data and I create what we call the visual score, which was the base for her to compose a song. And then after that, we also went to dissect what she did with her hands while playing the song and we visualized the song. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of like a uh, back and forth dialogue to actually ultimately, hopefully, make people see what she does as she plays. George and I are very excited to see how far we can take our collaboration and if we can turn it into a story or perhaps an interactive multimedia theater piece. Um, but at the very least, you know, just taking this path and seeing where it logically ends up. Um, I've never been so inspired as I have now, I don't think, um, with all the possibility that I have at my fingertips. And I'm just looking forward to experimenting and exploring and um, taking the initial concept of the neck and blowing it up. <laughs>